Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the playlist on computer vision. In the last lectures, we saw about the bitwise operations that are available to us in OpenCV. Uh, we actually did a hands-on exercise using the bitwise or concept and the bitwise and concept as well. Uh, in this uh, video lecture, we'll be talking about the masking concept in OpenCV. So I hope you all of you have your smartphones with you and you must have used some basic image editing softwares in your smartphones, right? So you might have cropped some photos as well. So this is where the role of masking comes into picture. That is, suppose you have been given an image and you want to extract out a particular part of image from it. So what you do is you create a mask and you do a bitwise and operation to actually get the that particular part or that particular segment of the image so that is what masking actually is so we'll be having a hands-on coding exercise using the concept of masking but before moving ahead with the code i want to tell you that now these are some pretty advanced concepts in OpenCV. so i hope uh, you have all revised the concepts right from the very start that is from the numpy to the last lectures on OpenCV. because as we get ahead and ahead things will get more complicated towards the end and uh, therefore it's very important uh, to actually uh, like revise the concepts um, in a proper way uh, because like uh, we will then uh, uh, after this videos uh, video lectures uh, we will actually have a real hands-on uh, implementation uh, which is based on a proper real life scenario which will actually involve all of the core concepts taught in open cv so i hope you all are excited for this but uh, for this lecture let, let us set our agenda which is actually talking about masking concept uh, so without taking much of your time let's get started on this so what i will do is i will go ahead and open up my uh, jupyter notebook so i have my jupyter notebook already open uh, now i will import the required libraries so i will import the cv2 library and numpy library and then i will actually store uh, it should be numpy yeah uh, then i will actually store uh, the image in a variable so i will name the variable as img and i will store this in cv2.im read mask.jpg so i will give you a hint of what this mask image is so for this i will use cv2.im show um, then i have to pass in the name of the window then mask uh, i mean the img uh, then cv2.wait key uh, wait key zero and then cv2 dot destroy all windows something like this and this is what we actually get so this is what our image is and uh, suppose like uh, i want to extract uh, let's say any particular part of this image maybe any part of this image how do i crop a part of this uh, like uh, a part of this image from the very big image so we'll be doing this using the concept of masking i hope uh, you remember now how to create a complete black image along with a uh, rectangle over it i like as we did in the last lecture uh, binary black and white image you remember that so we'll be doing the same like we will be creating a black image uh, along with that we'll be having a white rectangle over it and that white rectangle will actually be our mask and we will do a and operation between the image keeping the mask as the mask we actually generated that is the black and white image so i mean the black image with the right right rectangle white rectangle so let's get started on this uh, for this uh, before that what i would do is i would also have a look at the shape of my image because while you're doing the and operations uh, the shape of all of the mask and the image should actually remain the same so i would have to take care of this so let's say np dot shape img returns me something like 10801920,3. right so now what i will do is i will write x is equals to np dot zeros and i will pass in 1080 comma 1920 you can actually pass in a single channel mask you don't need to give like the uh, like the three channels actually and i will write d type is equals to u int 8 okay so this is what uh, x will look like that is all zeros and now i want to draw a rectangle on x so x is equal to cv2 dot rectangle 
and then I will draw the rectangle on X. Now, suppose let's say the coordinate is 100, 100, and the ending coordinate is let's say 720, 720, and the uh, let's say the color I want is white. So 255, 255, 255. The thickness I want is of minus one. So this is about X. So you now want to see how X looks like. So I will just copy paste this over here, and this is how image x will actually look like so what will happen is that when i will do a and operation keeping this as the mask uh on the like the tree image or the forest image actually so everything that is like uh, available like if, imagine if you superimpose these two images so everything that is available inside the white circle or the i mean the white square will actually like appear in our final images that is this will be our cropped part so if you superimpose these two images everything available over the white part or the white rectangle will be there in our cropped images so without wasting much of your time i will go ahead and show you the code so let's say i store the result in a variable called z and i call in the bitwise and operation uh, it should not be there actually. Okay. Z is equal to uh, CV2 dot bitwise and and now uh, let me pass the variables. So uh, I would be doing an and on img comma img and I will keep the mask as x. So uh, like when you are uh, doing something like this cropping kind of thing uh, using a mask so you have to explicitly pass the mask and you have to do a and operation on same image i mean img img and the third variable would be the mask actually so the name of my mask is x i will what i will do is i will go ahead and run this piece of code so this has successfully run for me and now if you want to see like how this actually looks like so i mean the final result so this is how it will look like changing this to z and yes so see you have this very large image like the complete image of the forest and now only the part which is available to us in the mask now actually gets stored so this is what the usage of mask is like you i want to highlight a particular region or maybe i want to uh, crop out a particular region or extract something same i mean extract something useful from the image uh, so this is how i actually use a mask so this was all about the concepts concept of masking along with the practical example uh, please do revise the concepts such as uh, uh, bitwise like the bitwise operation masking and the color spaces as well because we'll be doing a complete example over all of these things like an example involving all of these three concepts so it will be easier for you to grasp all of this so i hope you enjoyed uh, this video lecture and you learned something interesting and important from it see you in the next one thank you